All right, as we get started today, if you would go and take out your assignment pads and write down this homework assignment. For homework this evening, I need you to read over pages 68 to 74. Read over pages 68 to 74, and on page 79, answer questions 1 through 8. Read pages 68 to 74, and on page 79, answer questions 1 through 8. Uh, tomorrow we'll be beginning our chapter on the solid state of matter, and we'll touch on just a few things in that chapter. Once you have that written down, if you would put that assignment pad away, take out just a blank sheet of paper, and a pencil and a calculator. Blank sheet of paper, pencil and calculator, everything else away. You will need uh, the paper as a cover sheet, and you can also do some work on it, though there should be enough room on the test for you to work on. Um, also, if you would, pencil, make sure you have enough lead, make sure you have a good eraser, and then your calculator if you need to uh, delete any existing memories, just that way it's ready to use, that would be good also. All right. Let's go ahead and pass out the tests, and uh, we'll go over, actually, let's go ahead and pray, and then I'll hand out the tests. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for my students. I pray that you'd help them as they take this test now to do their very best, to remember the things that they learned and the things that they studied. Uh, Lord, be able to apply them as well as needed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the tests. First and last name in the name spot, along to, with today's date in the date spot. Name of the name spot, today's date in the date spot, and today is 9-13-22. 9-13-22 is today's date. All right, let's take a look at the test together very quickly. Numbers 1 through 10, you got completion. Write the word or words that would best complete each statement. If an answer requires more than one word, be sure to write both words. Uh, numbers 11 through 16, matching scientists. Answers may be used once, more than once, or not at all. Uh, so put the letter of the scientist. Uh, page 2, got to modify true-false statement. Again, do not write false for anything in this blank. Looking at the italicized portion. If the italicized portion is true, write true. If the italicized portion is false, write what would make it true. Okay? Uh, numbers 24 through 26 kind of got mini essay, short answer. Okay, so uh, be thorough, but you should be able to fit it in the space provided. Answers should require, well, a couple of them say list. So for there, you don't actually have to write paragraph or sentence form even. Uh, but for number 24, um, you know, give me, uh, give, by giving, by following the directions, you will, by following the latter definite, the, the latter uh, instruction, you'll be able to accomplish the former. All right, as you give definitions, you will be differentiating. All right, uh, page three, problem solving. Uh, I've got several problems on there. For each one, be sure to write the appropriate formula first. So write the formula first and then uh, solve it out. Be sure to use proper sig figs, proper units in your answer. Um, this continues on page four. Uh, I've got a couple more problems solving there. And there's a brief essay. Um, uh, so be sure to read over that essay question carefully. We're recording, so I can't get, discuss it in any more detail than that. Though if you have questions, of course, you could raise your hand as you go through the test. Um, but uh, go ahead and give that explanation, uh, detailed explanation, uh, there at the bottom of page four. All right, well, go ahead and get started, and you will have about 45 minutes to complete this test. 